to A Year in London. Hello everybody and welcome back to my opera channel. But today we're talking a little bit about London mm -hmm. and life in London. I have Ashley here. I'm back. You're back. I'm back. Couldn't stay away. <laughs> By now you probably know that Ashley and I have a podcast together. Of course. What's our podcast called? AA Opera. But since today, well, this time of year marks a year for both of us in London. Yeah, uh, exactly for me, a year on Sunday. The 17th of August, whereas for me it would be the 26th of August. Yeah, so you came a week later. Very exciting. But today, with the help of a wonderful cameraman, we took you around London to see some of our favourite spots. Yeah, it's been a lovely day. Yeah. You know, I, I was saying this is the first time that I've actually walked from place to place around London instead of just needing to be somewhere and you hop on the tube and you hop on the bus. We've walked a lot of steps down some very designer streets. Places where we will never be able to afford things. No. Saw Mickey Mouse. Saw Mickey Mouse. Stay tuned to find out where we saw him. But yeah, our, we met up at the Royal Opera House because there's no other place for us to meet up. Yeah, I mean. And <laughs> it's, what's great also we were saying is that at the Opera House, even though it's like the Opera House name and Covent Garden, it's actually one of the cheapest places to sit and have a cup of coffee. Yeah. Or tea. It's a bit of an unknown spot as well, so you're very lucky that we're sharing this information yeah. with you, but they've got a lovely terrace. But yeah, if you go up to the top and now, especially they added all these like plants there, and it's, yeah. oh, it's so nice. And, I, and it is open throughout the winter, and you can kind of see different parts of the building. It's really great. We also got to see like parts of the opera house, which are always open to the public, like the poster section. But they're never, it's not signposted, so you don't know it's there. You've just got to have a bit of an explore, and it's like right by the auditorium. And you wouldn't think to go there if the auditorium wasn't open, but we did, and we saw some great posters. Yeah, and no one was there because mm -hmm. the show's not happening, so you actually have time to like look at all the posters and see which one operas you want to see, your ballets and yeah. stuff like that. And also discover operas that you didn't know existed. Like the 1984 one. Yeah. We have to research that. Yeah. I want to find out more about that opera. And after that we went to... Wittard and had hot chocolate shots. It's a must. Yeah. Come not on. just one. <laughs> like... They were on tap. <laughs> yes. So we just want to Mind you, we bo I have definitely bought things from there in the past, but it is a great place for just like a little pick-me-up of like, oh, I just need some some tea yeah. or some yeah. chocolate. Yeah. And who knew there were so many flavors of tea and coffee? And hot chocolate. And hot chocolate. What was, oh. our, what was the flavor we're having? Salted caramel. Salted caramel hot chocolate oh. because the rest of them weren't ready. Oh. After which we finished at Winter Heart and Chelsea, and you should just walk along. And if you're a tea fan, like me, which is one of the very old French tea companies. Which oh yes, this place was good. Yeah, 1865. They also have a like tea parlor, if you want. Mm -hmm. Then we continued our walk. Yes, we went to Waterstones. Went to Waterstones, and the one at Piccadilly Circus is massive. Six yes. floors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how many co like coffee and tea places? Three? Three or four. Madness. And they have a happy hour and a beautiful view of London. Like if you go up to the fifth floor. After that we've had, we got some food. Yeah, see that was the highlight of my day. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't the highlight of my day. It's just one of the highlights because it's food related. And I had some great paella and Abby had... I think it's called paella. Paella is what we say in the UK. But it's called paella. In Spanish? Yeah. Oh, well, British people, you'll be with me here. It's called paella. It's called paella. Here. Very good. Very inexpensive, especially for the location it's in. Right by Piccadilly Circus, like five pounds for... For a decent... A crate of paella. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> crate of paella. And then our next stop was one of my favorite places. Mm -hmm. Go on. <laughs> Announce it if it's one of your favorite places. Wortnam and Mason. Yes. It's beautiful. I mean, you don't have to spend, and we didn't spend any money today other mm. than those five pounds on food. We did get some free chocolate samples, which, you know, didn't go down so well for you, but <laughs> no, because we weren't sure what was in them. Um. Definitely got lots of different experiences for free without spending any money on entrance fees yeah. or. So yeah, we walked in and you can walk around. 
some very nice bottles of wine. Yeah, try and see if they have tasters. Yeah. Just go for the tasters. Yeah, today is just really showing that you can have a great day out in London and not spend much money at all. Yeah. And then this is after we left Fortnum and Mason, we went up all the fancy streets in London, like all the expensive places filled with like designer Rolex, you know, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. Jimmy Choo, Tiffany. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also like if you go through Burlington Arcade, it's just, it's a level of wealth that we opera singers will never experience. Aim high. Aim, Aim high. <laughs> Society will change. Everyone will love opera. We will be millionaires. No, it's a great, it's a great place to meander and like look around and dream. And as we were walking from there into our next stop, which was where you had never been before, but is one of my favorite mm-hmm. museums in London. Uh-huh. The Walls Collection. Yeah. He came across a certain Disney character. Mickey Mouse. I like how you shot it, too. Like, it's very, like... Oh, I was on that one. <laughs> I saw him coming in the distance, and I was like... Then we went to the Walls Collection. What did you think of the Walls Collection? The Walls alone are amazing. <laughs> I mean, what other place can pull off, like, an emerald green, velvety wallpaper <laughs> nowhere but the Wallace collection so that was probably the highlight for me that emerald green and not only that the every room has so much stuff in it and it's very like and another free museum that we did not pay anything to get into especially if you're a student at the royal academy next year you need to break from this place it's a five minute walk down the road yeah just go it's right by abrook street mm-hmm. so right after class just go look around our two one of our final stops don't books. Books? Books? Okay. Oh, well, I've been there many a time. I mean, that's where I go to buy me books. It's just a great, great shop, isn't it? Like, the layout of it, you go up re- this really narrow staircase and then you're on this, like, balcony part and you can just view the whole shop. It's really, really nice. And also, it's divided according to countries and cities. Yes. So, like, if you're looking for something to do with... London. The whole store is as if it's a travel section. Yes. But you can really look for literature based on countries that you would like to try. Yeah. That sounds weird. But like countries that you'd like to know more about and really it's one of the coolest. Mm. They've got lots of those sort of coffee table books as well where you go and look at maps or look at art descriptions and things like that. Or our favorite book that we saw. Yeah, the... (laughs) An entire book about opera. Yeah, it's been a great day. I like how we started with opera and ended with opera by finding the opera book. And now we're at the Academy, where we're going to go practice. Yes. Because no day is a day without practice. Anyway. That's a lie. That's a total lie. (laughs) Don't practice every day. Like, it's just not realistic. (laughs) Take some time to yourself. You're really good at taking time to yourself and saying, like, I'm going to have a glass of wine (laughs) when I practice. Which you can hear all about on our upcoming podcast. The first episode is coming out on September 6th. And where can you find it? Apple Music, on Anchor, on Google Podcasts, hopefully Spotify by the time this is out. Yeah, I have to work on that this week. Okay. Uh, um, Pocket Cast. Pocket Cast. And a couple of others. Check out our Instagram page so you can then, you know, get all this information. Don't forget to like and follow us. That's all, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please let us know what your favorite places to go in London are. Yeah. Maybe we can do a whole nother day in London. I mean, we live here, so we'll definitely do it. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little notification bell so you can be notified when I make a new video or when a new podcast comes out. And all of Ashley's links are down below, so go check her out and go check out AA Opera Pod. And until then, have a great, 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 great week. We'll be back on Monday or Friday. And yeah. And don't forget to go and see an opera. And use the hashtag Diva Studies to let us know what you went to see. All right. Bye. That's how you say it on Instagram. And we will see you there. See you there. I just burned. That's why I see that. <laughs> Books. <laughs> so, but you know, to give to give credit to the northerners here, it's spelt with two O's. It it is spelled with two O's. Ooh, ooh, ooh is the sound that should use not uh uh.